Hello everyone and welcome to Morning Devotions. I hope everybody's doing okay today. I'm still feeling kind of bad. My stomach's been bothering me three days now. I'll be okay. Diane's daughter, uh, Tina's friend, Victor, needs a lung transplant. Well, both lungs. Um, Nina, her diabetes is doing a little bit better. Uh, but she still needs more blood thinner. Uh, Tabitha needs prayers for depression and also for her father. He had a heart attack and only 30% of his heart is working. Homestead Tessie's granddaughter, Sierra, is in intensive care with pneumonia. And Tweets, pray for her asthma and she's always tired. And I know how you feel, Tweets. I I'm always tired. I don't know if it's my, a lot of it's probably from my uh, infusions I get. Okay. Our Bible reading today comes from John 6, 47 through 59. Very truly, I tell you, the one who believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness, yet they died. But here is the bread that comes down from heaven, which anyone may eat and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. This bread is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Then the Jews began to argue sharply among themselves, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up to, at the last day. For my flesh is real food, and my blood is real drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so the one who feeds on me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Your ancestors ate manna and died, but whoever feeds on this bread will live forever. He said this while teaching in the synagogue in Capernaum. It is warmer out today, though. It's like 54 already. Okay. Uh -oh. All other things want to fall. Our devotion today is entitled A Feast of Love. In the Danish film, Danish film Babette's Feast, a French refugee appears in a coastal village. Two elderly sisters, leaders of the community's religious life, take her in and for 14 years Babette works as their housekeeper. When Babette comes into a large sum of money, she invites a congregation of 12 to join her for an extravagant French meal of caviar, quail and puff pastry and more. As they move from one course to the next, the guests relax. Some find forgiveness, some find love rekindled, and some begin recalling miracles they'd witnessed and truths they'd learned in childhood. Remember what we were taught, they say? Little children love one another. When the meal ends, Babette reveals to the sisters that she spent all she had on the food. She gave everything, including any chance of returning to her old life as an acclaimed chef in Paris, so that her friends eating might feel their hearts open. Jesus appeared on earth as a stranger and servant. And he gave everything so that our spiritual hunger might be satisfied. In John's gospel, he reminds his listeners that when their ancestors wandered hungry in the wilderness, God provided quail and bread. The food satisfied for a time, but late Jesus promises that, who, who ex, that those who accept him as the bread of life will live forever. His sacrifice satisfies our spiritual cravings. Heavenly Father, Lord, I want to pray today for everybody on the prayer list. Please help them with all their different problems, Lord, and help them get better. And help anybody else out, that, out there that needs it, Lord. And please help all the, the families involved, too, because they're, they, they suffer, too. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. Hope y'all enjoyed this morning's devotions. 
please press that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody have a great day, and I'll see you on morning coffee break. It's pretty warm out there. Bye-bye.